You know, when it comes to the Marvel Universe, there's this crazy, unique bond between Spider-Man and Deadpool. It's like they're two sides of the same coin, or maybe just tangled in some weird cosmic web. People see them together and can't help but wonder if they're best buds or sworn enemies. Once, they got into this hilarious argument where Spidey all jokingly said he couldn't tell if Deadpool was the real deal. So what does Deadpool do? He pulls out his gun and shoots himself square in the chest. I mean, talk about extreme ways to prove a point, right? But of course, Deadpool being Deadpool, he just heals right up like it's nothing. With a literal hole in his heart, Deadpool starts spilling his guts to Spider-Man, telling him that even a few bullets to the heart can't stop their epic friendship. Classic Deadpool move, right? Always finding a way to mix humor with, well, getting shot. So there they were, chatting away on the rooftop, when Deadpool notices something weird. The door's blocked by webs. And you know what? Spidey's got a story to match. Turns out, he's been getting stabbed out of the blue for weeks. But every time he turns around, there's no one there. Talk about a mystery. Peter's all tense, understandably. I mean, wouldn't you be if you kept getting shanked in public? He even swung at a pregnant lady once in a moment of panic. Yikes. Just when things couldn't get weirder, a bunch of maintenance guys show up and open the door. Spidey takes off like a rocket, leaving Deadpool in the dust. But old Deadpool ain't one to sit back, so he follows the commotion. And what does he find? Spider-Man, holding some poor woman up by her throat, convinced she's this villain called Chameleon in disguise. It's like a scene out of a twisted comic book. Deadpool knows his buddy's got it all wrong, so he tries to talk some sense into him. Thankfully, Spidey listens and lets the woman go. But just when you think it's all sorted, bam! Chameleon, disguised as the woman, stabs Spidey in the neck with a syringe. Talk about a double cross. So, things went from bad to worse real quick. Spidey, poor guy, takes a nasty jab from the chameleon and passes out cold. Deadpool, being Deadpool, goes full-on action hero and tosses the chameleon out the window. But Spidey, even in his weakened state, sticks to his principles and saves the chameleon from certain death. With Spidey out cold, Deadpool's left to play nursemaid. He hauls his buddy back to his room to keep him safe from prying eyes desperate to uncover his secret identity. But Deadpool's not one to sit around twiddling his thumbs. He figures out a plan. He's gonna trick the chameleon at his own game. So, he slips into Spidey's suit and hits the streets as Spidey Pool, ready to take down the baddies. But guess what? The people ain't too happy to see him. They start giving him all sorts of grief. Just when he's thinking it can't get any worse, this lady comes up asking for a pick with Spidey. But surprise, it's the chameleon, back for round two. And just like that, he slips away again, leaving Deadpool with nothing but a headache and a bunch of confused civilians. So, Spidey pulls out and about, trying to keep the peace in the city. There's this purse snatcher causing a scene, but Deadpool ain't having it. He swoops in, knocks the guy out cold, and hands him over to the cops, all tied up like a neat little present. But the day's just getting started. Next up on the villain roster is this master dude, who's all about controlling snakes. Sounds like a bad time, right? Well, it gets worse. Master's little science experiment gone wrong turns a mouse into a giant, city-stomping monster. Just when Deadpool's riding high on his victory over Master, guess who shows up? Yep, the chameleon strikes again, catching Deadpool off guard and jabbing him in the neck with that dang syringe. Now Deadpool's all loopy, not sure which way is up. When out of the blue, here comes Peter Parker, decked out in a Deadpool disguise. Talk about a plot twist. But wait, it gets even crazier. The chameleon pulls a switcheroo, copying Peter's look in the Deadpool suit, leaving our drugged-up hero with a gun, trying to figure out who's who. In a stroke of genius, or maybe just desperation, Deadpool pulls a bluff, threatening to off them both unless one of them spills the beans. And wouldn't you know it? He susses out the real Spider-Man, who's none too happy about the whole situation. But hey, at least they got the chameleon, right? Another day in the life of Spidey Pool, full of twists, turns, and way too many near-death experiences. Talk about a showdown. Peter wasted no time confronting the imposter, laying bare his morals for all to see. With a swift move, he exposes the fake, leaving him out in the open, vulnerable to a shot. And bam, 
the chameleon gets tagged in the kneecap, reverting back to his true form. In the end, they save the day, using each other's identities like some twisted game of chess. And you know what? The next day, they're kicking back, checking out the headlines in the newspaper, admiring their handiwork. Just another day in the strange, tangled web of their frenemy relationship. Who knew being a superhero could be so complicated? And that's a wrap, folks. If you're itching for the real scoop on Deadpool's origin story, just click on this video link. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and keep those superhero dreams alive.